say great day to the class. Great day. I'd like to also say great day to those of you that are viewing this class video. Yes. Welcome to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school and it is not a church. And neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-denominational religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing the proof of the existence of Yahweh our Elohim and the operations of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operates on eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision accompanied by a divine revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kelly in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year of 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, New Mexico, Jamaica, England, Africa, and certain other foreign countries. The Omaha class meetings was established in the year of 2016. 
In this school, we use the true, original, and correct name of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It has been substituted by Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and they are not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. We now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title. But unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is a title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but Jesus is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove to you that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin languages have neither characters or letters in their alphabets that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the English language until 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are in possible renderings of the true and original name of the Father and His Son. Christ is a title just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. And in this state, He is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose the cloud to symbolize itself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn a cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you how that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, knowing that man could not perceive of him in his pure spirit state, he took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the Word or Son, a super incorporeal being. That is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. And this form can only be seen in divine vision and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in the physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we all should be asking ourselves is, what was the name of the Savior during the time that he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called divine pattern of the universe because of Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him this tabernacle pattern of vision. He then instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the walls of Sinai. The pattern consists of 
a most holy place, a holy place, and a court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also in this school, we show proof how that everything in the universe operates and functions and is made according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes this pattern. Now, our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and how it actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the station of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law of so-called law of nature and power latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, philosophy, psychology, moral and practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticisms, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operations of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operate the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to early contend for the common salvation and faith which was once delivered to the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained there is no other name given among men whereby man can be saved that save the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth, that is to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in your state. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We'll begin today's lecture with the opening prayer and that prayer will be given by Dr. Rapunzel Williams. We will have one selection of song. And our scripture lesson for today's lecture is Matthew the 10th chapter and that will be read by Dr. Stefan Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Great day, class. Great day. Let us bow our hearts and minds to Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah. Father, we would like to thank you once again for allowing us to come back to another class. Yeah. To learn more of your purpose, your pattern, your plan. We'd like to thank you, Father, for being so merciful, for being so wonderful. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank you, Father, for, for, for the things we see and the things that we don't see. We'd like to ask you, Father, to open up our spiritual minds, our spiritual ears, our spiritual hearts to receive the message that has been chosen from the foundation of the world. And, and whoever you may have chosen to be partakers of the class, may they be enlightened by the class. Yes. All these blessings we ask in the only begotten Son, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. Our scripture lesson for this day's lecture is Matthew, the 10th chapter. And I will read from the Holy Name Bible, containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testaments, clearly compared with ancient authorities and various manuscripts, revised by the late A.B. Train, the Scripture Research Association Incorporated, reprinted by Yahshua Promotions. That's Matthew, the 10th chapter, 
from the Holy Name Bible. It says, And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. The names of the twelve apostles are these. The first Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphia, and Lebo, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and, and Judah Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Yahshua was sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go after, excuse me, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, Repent ye, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staffs. For the workman is worthy of his food. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when you come into a house, say, Peace be unto this house. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harder than doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the nations. But when they deliver you up, have no anxiety concerning how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father of the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endured to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in one city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above his teacher, nor the servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his teacher, and the servant as his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but not but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body 
in Gehenna are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man at variance against his, against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his yoke and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a proper reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. I just read for you Matthew, the 10th chapter from the Holy Name Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. I'd like to remind everyone to please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. And we're going to have start off having testimonies uh, at, the, at, at the beginning of this class. And uh, that we already put on my heart and mind to, uh, for us to do that, okay? And so um, it's open testimony right now. Great day, class. Great day. Um, I say I'm thankful and grateful for being here. Yeah. Um, Yahweh allowed me to come back to another class to learn more of His purpose, His pattern, His plan. Yes. Yeah. I just say I, I um, uh, Yahweh has been showing myself some things here this past maybe week or so, mm -hmm. um, of how He truly exists and how He really is. Yeah. And how um, the satanic spirit is is constantly everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, like like, and we know that he's everywhere. Um, um, how he's been showing me how um, to sometimes not to say stuff, you know, but just to sit back and watch and watch him work, watch him work the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. You know, watch, watch and see what he gonna do to whatever that is that may come up against me. I know Yahweh says, uh, "If I'm for you, who could be against you?" I'm not not be saying that quite. That's right. Quoting it right, but that's right. Uh, he say, "If I'm for you, who could be against you?" You want that red? Yes, please. All right. I believe this is where it is in. Um, just hold, just hold a moment here, viewing audience. I believe it's Romans. The eighth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Yes, 
Um, this is Romans 8, chapter, verse 31 for the whole name Bible. It says, What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for her, if Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? That's right. We got the best person that's on our side. No, he's not a person. No, no, excuse me. Excuse me. I don't mean that. We got the best, we got the best Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua that's on our side. All right. Okay. We got the best one that's on our side. That's what I mean to say. We got the best one on our side. Mm -hmm. Not looking for no man to be on either side of us to help, to help that problem, whatever that problem may be. Right. We got Yahweh on our side to help us get through that problem. All right. Sometimes we get caught up. Even I would say myself sometimes get caught up on these uh, thinking that knowing, but that devil can come in if you got if you leave your door open just crack just a little bit he can come on in there. Uh -huh. That's why you gotta keep the, you gotta keep that door all the way shut. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if you give him just a little space, but sometimes you know he'll creep in with with I'm doing something, I'm making something happen. When I know it's not me doing nothing, but it's Yahweh who got everything. All right. It's Yahweh who makes things happen. It's not us to do anything. It's all Yahweh's purpose, all Yahweh's plan. Mm -hmm. Okay? And um, like I said, I'm thankful and grateful um, that Yahweh continue to keep dealing with me. Right. And continue to keep showing me. And with that, all praise to Yahshua side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alright, I enjoyed the uh, the testimony of the uh, the first speaker, I would say. And I will uh, give a brief testimony here. Um, um, I like to say I, I work at I work part time at Walmart overnight yes. from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning. And um, and I'm going to read out the Elohim book. Uh, those that are viewing, you want to know what I'm talking about. Meaning those that are that are in this, that are in this teaching, been teaching for years, and have read the Elohim book. And um, so I work at I work um, at Walmart part time uh, from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m. three days a week. And um, I work in the I work in electronics, and I work. And right beside where I work, electronics is um, uh, sporting goods. But just in the vicinity, just 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 in the vicinity, the, the point I'm making is this: so you have these youngsters, teenagers, they come to the store, twelve o'clock at midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, yes, and they just. <laughs> Raising havoc, yes. <laughs> raising hell, right? Yes. And it, every time I see it, I mean, see that manifest. Now right. I'm not talking. Now when I and when I'm saying what I'm saying, like the first speaker just said, um, we can get tripped up. We can get tripped up on veils. Yes. Okay. But this school or this class is called the Institute of Divine. Metaphysical research, right? Yes. That means beyond the physical or beyond the veil. And we can be tripped, we can get tripped up on veil, we can get tripped up on skin colors, yes. right? But I see Caucasians, African Americans, all different nationalities in the I'm about as these teenagers. Right. You got me? Because mm -hmm. they would put I'm, I'm talking about from a physical standpoint, society mm -hmm. had put a label. On on black on black men or or blacks in general, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm I'm, just, I'm I'm saying, but we know who's behind the the race. That's a satanic forces behind right. that. You got me. Yes. And what are the point I'm making? You know, society will say that the blacks. You know, even when, you know, uh, some time ago, when they started having this thing about uh, when they shot this, when the police shot this African American mm -hmm. by having a hoodie on his head. Mm -hmm. Right, so you know what I mean. So that's that society you put you know put that stigma on you. You got me. Right. Oh, he got a hoodie on. He gonna do something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If he's black, he got a hoodie on. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I'm talking about how the satanic spirit would use a coat of flesh, right. right? That's what he does. But you have that spirit, you got me? Mm -hmm. Manifesting, coming through a Caucasian, coming through an African American, coming through the quote unquote so called African mm -hmm. that came over here, you understand? Right. Things of that nature. Asians, you listening? Yes. Latinos, you understand? Yes. So forth and so on. The point I'm making is this. As the Bible declares in um, um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 16, right? Mm -hmm. It says, no, no man after the flesh, right? Right? Right. And we are supposed to know Yahshua Messiah no more after this image right here, right? right? He says, henceforth, no Yahshua Messiah no more after the veil, right? right? Right. Right? So if you don't know no one after the veil, what you going to know him by? You understand what I'm talking yes. about? Because we didn't know, we didn't, we, 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 we didn't know. We was ignorant of that there were spirits tabernacle inside of these bodies. Absolutely. You understand what I'm talking about? We didn't know that. You got me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And so we have two missions in operation. As the first speaker we had had alluded to, okay, mm -hmm. we have the mystery of righteousness or the mystery of Yahweh, okay, mm -hmm. and we have the mystery of iniquity, okay, all right. Yes. And Yahweh is the puppet master. You listening? Yes. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. This is his purpose. You got me. This yes. is his plan. You got me. Yes. And he's the one that's. Operating it, he's the one in control of what's being, or what's going on. Okay, and he, he, and he let us in on his business. You got me? Yes. Because all about being about our father's business. I'm talking about our father Yahweh's yes. business. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. So that's what's really going on. Now I'm going to read this from the Elohim book. And every time I see this, see these youngsters come on the store, just raising havoc. And, and when you confront them. They, they come in, they want to bounce the basketballs all loud. They want to come in and, and, and press on the Bluetooth and, and the speakers and the music start going off real loud. Right. You know, and they run and leave. Or, or they want to throw footballs all on the store. Just, just, just making noise. I'm talking about coming 12 midnight, 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm not just saying that this is what I witness. Right. But every time I see it, this is what, this is... But what I see is the manifestation of what I'm about to read. It is really going on in society. Okay? Yes. And I'm going to be reading from my, from my textbook entitled Elohim. The archetype, meaning the original pattern of the universe, volumes one through four. Okay? It doesn't say Dr. Kelly, the archetype original pattern of the universe. That's not what it says. Okay? Yes. Let's be clear, all right? So I'm going to be reading, I believe it's here in, a, in volume one here. Um, yeah, the, the, the uh, first volume. Well, right before the right before the first volume starts, it's actually the preface. Okay, the preface. Okay, before you start reading, actually, in volume one is the preface, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, not the first page of the preface, but you turn it over on the back side of the of the preface. Page, okay? okay. I'm going to be starting reading from, um, matter of fact, let's see here. Um, I'll just start right here. At, at the second paragraph on the, uh, I'll just say the second page of uh, the preface, okay? okay? It says, to further add to the chaos and confusion in the world, there is strife and bloodshed between racial groups, right? right. Just speaking on that. I mean, I want you see how I go? Mm -hmm. That Joshua, the Holy Spirit, doing that. 
It says, to further add to chaos and confusion in the world, there is strife and bloodshed between racial groups. The blacks versus the whites, the yellow versus the reds, the Jews versus the Arabs, etc. Brother is fighting against brother, father against son, and mother against daughter. This that was just a scripture lesson, right? Right. The young against the old. And everywhere there was utter chaos and disorder. The Jew Arab situation seems to be a classical example of such conflict, and it is potentially explosive enough to lead the whole world into armed aggression. That's going on now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Neither the Jew now this is now this is mind you, this is um um I'll just say in 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 the seventies, okay? Say it like that. All right? Yeah. I don't know what uh, let me see it and double check what volume uh, what what edition this this one is. It says copyright in 1961 and 1969, okay? okay? So I'll leave it there. So I'll just say 61, 69, okay? okay. But in the 60s, okay? Mm -hmm. Or early 70s. Just put it that way, okay? Yeah. But I'll get to a point in a minute. Now, this has happened today, right? right. There ain't nothing changed, right? right? It says the ARAF situation seems to be the classic example of such conflict, and it's... It, and it is potentially explosive enough to lead the whole world into armed aggression. Neither the Jewish nations or the Arab nation would ever mention that Yahweh, in his ultimate purpose and plan, gave the land of Canaan. Okay? So, we understand it says Canaan land, right? Right? This, this, this is a type and shadow. Alright? Of, of heaven. I'll say it like that, okay? All right, this is you see it says Jerusalem here, yeah. Canaan's land. Right, this is allegorical or or type mm -hmm. of heaven. Okay, all right. Yeah. So they're fighting over there in in, in the foreign country. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean in that in that land over there. Right. Right. They're talking about the Jews and the Arabs. Right. When the Yehudas and the Arabs. Right? right. He says. He says. But well, it says that Yahweh, in his ultimate purpose and plan, gave the land of Canaan over, over which they are now fighting to both nations as an inheritance. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. You see how I go? Yes. He said they 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 do know enough how, however to keep the United Nations out of the role of mediator, for they fully realize that the United Nations knows nothing of the promise made to Abraham. The father of both Isaac and Ishmael. See how I go? Mm -hmm. All right. So we understand that that, that Abraham and Isaac and Ishmael, right? right? We understand right here by our forty plate chart here. Abraham and King Melchizedek, plate twenty three says Abrahamic promise. See how I go? Mm -hmm. Melchizedek, like a type of Yahshua Messiah, right? right. Had no beginning, no end, no pedigree. In tight now. Mm -hmm. You listen? Yeah. Blessing Father Abraham while the seeds was in his loins. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. You got me? Yes. All right. It says, United Nations knows nothing of the promise made to Abraham, the father of both Isaac and Ishmael. Both nations of people would rather fight to the last man than to give Yahweh the glory and honor and recognize his will and his way. Ain't that something? Yes. Now, this, this is the point I was making. I, I was talking about how, the, how I see these youngsters coming to come the store, specifically on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I asked a few of them, I like, I was saying, this is not Disney World. You guys don't have nothing to do on the weekend? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about? Yes. You know, but to come in here and do this, but we're not dealing with flesh and blood. Right. This is already, this is a, this is part of Yahweh's will right. and purpose for these things to be occurring, right? right? It's in the book right here, right? Right. It says Elohim. Right. See? The archetype original pattern of the universe, right? Right. 
He the one got this going on like this. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. And we and we the ones that 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 y'all we have revealed these things to. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We should know and see and and and, and realize the realization that this was really what Yahweh got going on. You got me? Yes. The world, the car, you know, the, the world of carnal minded man would think things are out of order. Mm -hmm. Where is the creator? Mm -hmm. You got me? Right. You can't why is he allowed us to go on? Mm -hmm. Where is he? Mm -hmm. You got me? Right. Okay? It says the matter of young people and teenagers uprising needs special mentioning as these youngsters have come to realization of the hypocrisy of Christian doom. All right? Yes. Okay? have come to the realization, ladies and gentlemen, of Christian doom. You know what I'm saying? Now we're going to pan down here. This is a pos the apostasy plate on an elementary chart, or all it's also called the chart on pattern or plan of salvation, okay? Yes. Now we're going to come down here on a, on a 40 plate chart, plate 37, apostasy plate, and I want you to get this in real good. This this plate right here. Get that in there real good for the viewing audience. Okay? okay? It says, the matter of the young people and teenagers uprising needs special special mentioning as these youngsters have come to realization of the hypocrisy of Christian doom and of their parents and have openly revolted against them. You see how I go? Yes. Now, you can see all these different denominations, right? Right. Jews, meaning me and Judaism, right? Mm -hmm. Roman Catholic, Protestantism, you know what I mean? Yes. Islam, the Baha faith, the Mormon faith, Jehovah Witnesses, you got me? Yes. And all the other ones, see how see it says, etc. Yes. You know, all these people, Got these question marks on their head. You listening? Yes. Confused. Okay? Yes. Babylon. It says mystery of Babylon. Babylon means confusion. You listening? Yes. And it says these youngsters, and this all this is all these all these different denominations. You got me? Yes. These sex and creeds, as it is up here, it says. Apostate Church, Latter Day Sex, Creeds, Cults, Vain Philosopher, etc. Babylon of Christian Doom. You listening? Yes. False prophets, denominations, anti messiahs, deceivers. You listening? Yes. These youngsters are seeing that their elders. You listening? Mm -hmm. that, that are going to these so-called churches and mosques and synagogues and, and temples and Jehovah's Witness halls and Mormon tabernacles and so forth and so on, right? Mm -hmm. It says that these youngsters have come to the realization of the hypocrisy of Christian doom. Okay? Mm -hmm. And of their parents. See? Their parents also, right? right. That is true. Mm -hmm. Because the youngsters 15, 16 is up in the stores. I wasn't allowed to be in those, I don't no. know, 1, 2, 12, 11, maybe up to 11 on the weekends. Mm -hmm. You got me? At someone's house and just stay up to about 11. Right. You got me you know what I'm talking about? Maybe 12, maybe. But I wasn't in those stores nowhere at no 12, 1, 2, 3, or 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Right. See? All Yahweh's purpose. He says, and of their parents and have openly revolted against them, see? They have no further confidence in the government, their church, their teaching institution, or their parents. And rather than to be a hypocrite, they have just given themselves over to whatsoever they will. I mean, we be saying that openly. Right, yes. They take drugs openly and defiantly. That is so true, because I... I'd say something to a couple of the youngsters, you know, hey, hey, you know, this is not Disney World. Um, 
you know, you know, just being, you know, being, you know, being respectful in a sense, you know, right. just being professional. And they, and they, and they, in the wrong, but they get an attitude with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's inside of that box? Right. Listen. Right. Right. <laughs> you got me. Yes. <laughs> It said they take drugs openly and defiantly. They make love openly. They dress as they desire and raise hell whenever they choose. That's what I be saying. Yeah. They come there and raise hell. You don't know when they come, but you know they come. They coming. They coming sometime between twelve and four a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every weekend since I've been there. They are shackled. They are not shackled by any morals, laws, or religious dogma. It must be said for them that most of them are too honest to be hypocrites. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to finish right here. It says, it is the climate... It is, it is in the climate of the above-mentioned condition that the second edition of Elohim... The Art Tyrannical Parallel Universe is being published. And, and hopefully, we are endeavoring to reach the masses of the people who are in the doldrums of, of despair and hell. No, there can be no drawing back from the inevitable destruction of the world, for Yahweh has purposed purpose it to be so, but it is possible for one to, to free himself from the bondage of sin and ignorance and come into the ark of safety in the glorious liberty of the son of Yahweh. You listening? Yes. That's powerful, right? Yes. So it says, it's possible for one to free himself from the bondage. Mm -hmm. You listening? Yes. Meaning Christian doom. Mm -hmm. All the different denominations. Like I said, these churches these 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 cults, right? These uh, uh, different denominations, right? right? Temples, mobs. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's powerful for you, for you to free yourself from the bondage and, and of sin and ignorance, and to come into the ark of the safety and the glorious liberty of the Son of Yahweh. Okay? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yahshua Messiah is the true ark. No one in his right mind could think that the world is going to go on and on and that eventually peace and harmony will prevail, for this has never been the case except for a very short period of time. Man has been upon the face of the earth. It is the mercifulness of Yahweh to provide a way of escape out of this doomed world, and we should be eternally grateful to him for this precious salvation. You got me? Yes. You listen it? So the way, see, you say escape to the doom. Mm -hmm. There's only one door for the escape, right? Mm -hmm. Say the way, the truth, the life. That's Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, you got me? Yes. John 10. See, he said, I am the door. See, see that, see that, see that, see that? Yes. One way? Mm -hmm. It's narrow. Right. But that's the way. You got me? Yes. Everything is wide out here. It's dark. Mm -hmm. But it's wide, you know what I mean? Go to the church of your choice, you listening? Mm -hmm. Go to the mosque of your choice. Go to the temple of your choice, you listening? Mm -hmm. There are plenty of daughters out there. You got me? Mm -hmm. But there's only one way, one truth, one life. And Yahshua Messiah is the light. Mm -hmm. See? See how that goes all the way into the third heaven? Mm -hmm. But it's but just cut off here on the outside. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See how that go? All right? Mm -hmm. Say the way to escape. See? We have a door here, according to the tabernacle pattern here. You listening? Yes. Which is the fourth step. And that fourth step means the change, right? Right. Okay? Tabernacle pattern, we have the gate, first step. The altar of sin, sacrifice, and altar of sacrifice. Brazen labor, two. Doors, four. Well, before you go to the door, you got to be, got to, got to put, the, put the oil on. Right. You know what I mean? Symbolic of the Holy Spirit, Holy Anointed Oil. You have the door here, right? Right? Right. Yah Messiah said, I am the door. You got me? Right. 
and then the type of shadow. Remember that the ark had that one door, one one on one door, right? Right. You saw how I go? Right. Yah's Messiah, this pictorial illustration, he's not in this form anymore, okay? Right. He's back into his super incorporeal form, okay? Right. Glorified state, all right? Okay? Right. I'm going to read that and we're going to move on. That's uh, Romans, I mean, not Romans, uh, uh, John the 10th chapter, that be John 10, John 10 and 10, no mistake, John 10. The Yachim Messiah says that he is the door. Um, in verse 9, John the 10th chapter, verse 9 from the Holy Name Bible, it says, I am the door, see. He said, now he is, he is the door. This is the type of chapel, okay? Mm -hmm. He's not on the cross anymore. See? Right. Christian dude wants to keep him on the cross, so they all want to point right here and play around with, with this. You listen. Mm -hmm. But he has went through a death. The, this, this physical body was taken off the cross here. Okay? This is, this is another one, see? Same one. Kingdom of Satan abolished. Kingdom of, king, kingdom of Yahweh restored, right? You have the soldier piercing. The Messiah, Yahshua Messiah in the side here, right? right? And out of the side came out blood and water. And he gave up the ghost, right? right. So a spirit, blood, spirit, water, and blood came out on this side of the cross. You see how I go? Yeah. Okay. See it there. The Bible took it off the cross, buried in Joseph's new tomb, right? So we got a death here. Burial. See? You listening? Yes. See another form now? Yes. It's the form he is now. He's not in this form any longer, okay? Yes. And Christian Doom will tell you that he raised a, a physical body. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come back and crack the sky in a physical body. Yes. You listening? But well, Matthew 16 and 12 says, I can read it. I mean, Mark, 6, Mark 16 and 12, I believe it is. All right. Mark 16 and 12. Holy Name Bible, Mark 16, chapter, verse 12. Holy Name Bible says, after that he appeared, see, after that he appeared, after his death, burial, resurrection, okay, he appeared in another form. You see how I go? Yeah. In another form. It didn't say he appeared in the same form. Right. He appeared in another form. You listen? Yeah. And that's the form that he's in as of right now. You listen? Yes. Yeah. See? Okay. So I just wanted just to give that testimony about, uh, 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 um, in, in other words, I have to say this, that that was um, Yahweh Elohim, okay? The archetype original pattern of the universe, okay, was tabernacle in this body, all right? From 1931 to 1976, all right? Laid that body down, all right? And while it was tabernacle in that body, you know what I'm saying? When he, when he took over, he, he, he bumped Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley off. You got me? Yes. There was no longer Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley. Okay? Yes. And I want to say this, and I said it last class, and I want to say it again, and I was looking at a class, a uh, Tampa Bay, Florida class. And the dean of, of the Tampa Bay class, uh, I believe his name was uh, Dr. Joel Turner, he had mentioned in his last, I believe the last class that they had, I believe it was uh, February 27th or February 25th. It, the class is entitled, uh, um, Believe Not Every Spirit, I believe that's what it's titled. But the point I'm making, he said to the class that he had a transcript, he had a couple of transcripts in his bag. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned the transcript in our last class, 
And I encourage everyone that's viewing this class video, if you have read this transcript, read it again. And if you haven't read it, read it for the very first time. The transcript is entitled, Discernment, colon, earthly name, heavenly name. Okay? Yes. All right? All right? Yes. And, 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 and Yahweh will bless you tremendously. All right? Yes. You listening? Yes. You be using Dr. Kinley said this and Dr. Kinley said this, that, and the other. Yahweh will start eliminating start to eliminate that out of your mouth more and more, okay? Yes. All right? Because in that transcript it says, now I allowed y'all to call me Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley. I allowed y'all, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing. You read, like I said, read the transcript for yourself. And if you read it before, read it again. Just paraphrasing. He says in, in the transcript, he says down, I allowed y'all to write this biography about Dr. Henry Cooper Kennedy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Y'all know this name well and this, that, and the other. He said, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, 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 want to be like I, I'm deceiving anybody. You listening? Mm -hmm. You know, I have, I have, I have a, a biological children that bear the name. He says, but Henry Clifford Kennedy is really not my name. See? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? And he goes on to say that. There's nine gifts, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the gifts is discernment, right? He said now, he said now, before he said it, he said now, he said, I allowed you to write this stuff about me. I allowed you to do this, allowed you to do that. He said, now it's time for me to straighten this out. Mm -hmm. You listening? Yeah. He said, now, I done told you that it's been Yahshua, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that's been speaking through this body all these years. Yeah. And your guys ain't discerned that yet. You listening? Yeah. He say now, there's nine gifts, and one of the gifts is discernment. He said, you haven't discerned what's, what's been speaking through this body and what the name and what my true name is. He said, because you don't know what your name is. You listening? Yeah. The family name is not Dr. Henry Cooper Clemley. The family name is Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. You got me? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yahshua. That's the new name. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Wait, let me talk about no human clipper killing and Stefan, Rapunzel, and, 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 and Ted, and James, and Frank, and Joel, and you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Robert, and you know what I mean? Carl, and, 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 and Dennis, and you know, Edward, and we ain't gonna be doing that type of stuff. You listen to what I'm talking about? Yes. It ain't no flesh and blood either. See? You listening? Yes. The family name is Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. That's the family name. You listening? Yes. Okay? So I'm saying that to say the title of the of our tenth book is called Elohim the Archetype Rainbow Pattern of the Universe. Alright? Alright? Yes. And that what took over his body. You listening? Yeah. Laid that body down in 1976. You listening? And yeah. the spirit of Yahweh is not encased in a graveyard in Springfield, Ohio. You listening? Yeah. Yahweh in the body at that time said, I'm conscious, fully conscious of who I am. He also went on to say, I don't want to even hear Dr. Henry Clifford killing myself. Now who's saying that? Right. Who said that? You listening? Right. You listening? Right. You didn't stop there. You listening? Yes. He said, now I'm fully aware and conscious of who I am. Right? Right. I'm conscious that you're not. But he didn't he never did say you would become conscious of that, right? You listening? Yes. And Yahweh, Elohim Yahshua. You listening? Yes. It's still on the scene. All right? Yes. Okay, we got to bring it on home now. Okay? Yes. We can't be riding on the coattail of Dr. Henry Clifford Kelly. You got me trying to get back into our original state. You listening? Yes. Okay? And that's what I'm saying. Yahweh himself 
wrote this Elohim book and put it and put in there about what's what's going to be, be occurring. And I see it firsthand. You listening? Yes. You listening? Yes. You, you got what I'm talking about? How could a man with a fifth grade education? Right. See, they said it's sixth grade education, but he dropped out in the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So that's a fifth grade education, right? right. It's a sixth grade dropout. Mm -hmm. It means you didn't finish the sixth grade. Right? Right. right. I want to have this read now before, we, before I uh, just in, in this testimony. This Isaiah 46. Isaiah, the 46th chapter, I believe it is. Um, starting at verse 9, Holy Name Bible. All right, follow me. Isaiah 46 and 9, starting from the Holy Name Bible, it said, Remember the former things of old. Okay? Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh Elohim, and there is none else. You see how that go? Yes. You hear what it's, you hear what it says? Yes. There is none else. Mm -hmm. See, in reality, there's no Stefan, there is no Dr. Kinley, there's, there's no uh, uh, Rapunzel and, 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 and Sam and, and, and Henry. You listening? And, yes. And, and, and Tina and Mary and Bob and Joe and Carl and Frank and you listening? Teresa, ain't none of that. Right. You listening? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. We, we, we've been taught, we've been taught that all this just garbage. We talk, been taught these. You know, you know what I'm talking about? That we were somebody. Right. You know, male and female. I looked at the class. Very powerful. We, we thought we was a male or a female, right? Right. You listen, we thought we was who we thought we was looking at in the mirror. You listen, right. didn't know that was why. Listen, A. You listen, H W E D H Yahweh on your face, did you? Right. Every human being, right? Right. You don't say your name written on your face and look in the mirror, do it? No. Ain't that something? See? Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh Elohim, and there is none else. I am Elohim, see? You listening? Yes. And there is none like me. What do you get from that? You listening? Mm -hmm. Ain't no interchange of Dr. Killing and, 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 and Yahweh. Ain't no interchanging with that. You got me? Right. He said, I'm Yahweh and there is none else. What, what, what do you get that from? What do you get from that, right? right. And there was none like me, see? Now this bastard down here said he want to be like the Most High. You listening? Yes. He said it right here, I will be like the Most High. Right? Right. And Yahweh said, I will be. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And there is Yahweh Elohim, and there is none like me. See? Declaring the end. Right? Right. It's E here. From the beginning, this B here, right? And we have an E here. Ending. Declaring the end or the ending. From the beginning, right? right? You listen to what I'm talking about? Yes. Yahweh is eternal. He's everywhere at the same place at the same time. Is that correct? Correct. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient Father Yahweh. You listen? Yes. He's at the be he's at the end and at the beginning. Ain't that, ain't that powerful? Yes. You know you have you know how you have on a football field. You got them goals up like a wild on one end and the goals up like a wild on the other end. Yes. You listen? I am the beginning, I am the end. You listen? Yes. I'm at the same place at the same time. There is nowhere that I'm not, right? Right. Declaring the end right from the beginning. See? And from ancient times, right? Right. Eternity. From ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, mm -hmm. and I will do all my pleasure, right? right. Calling the eagle from the east. You understand that the E in Elohim stands for eagle, is that right? right. See? Calling the eagle from the east, the man that executed my counsel from a far country. Yeah, I have spoken it, right? 
Yeah, I have spoken it or willed it in. Ain't that something? Yeah. Got me? I will also bring it to pass, right? I have purpose it. I have purpose for these youngsters that act a damn fool. You listening? Right. You can't do nothing about it. And every, and everything else is going on in, 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 in the world, if you want to say it like that. I purposed it. Ain't that what he said? Yes. I'm doing my great pleasure. You listen. Yes. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Ain't that what he said? Yes. See? Let me go over here to, um, let me back up. It must be. Isaiah 45, okay? Yeah. Isaiah 45 and 5, right? Follow me. Isaiah 45 and 5, Holy Name Bible says, I am Yahweh and there is none else. See? There is no Elohim besides me. See how I go? Yeah. I girded thee. See, he girded us, protected us. Though thou hast not known me. You, you, ain't that mm -hmm. beautiful? Yes. That's the mercy of Yahweh. You got me? Yes. That they may know from the rise of the sun. See, that they may know from the rise of the sun. See, it says sunrise. The sun, the, the sun is a type. See? The S-U-N is a type of the S-O-N. You listen? Yes. You'll find over in Malachi 4, I believe it is. Pick that up real quick. quick. It's pee, pee right there. Malachi, the fourth chapter, I believe it is, around the second verse, he's going to say something about the S-U-N, righteousness. Malachi 4 and, four and 2, I believe that's what it is. Malachi 4 and 2, out of one name Bible. Read. But unto you that revere my name shall... Let's start back over. It's, 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 it's revere. Okay. Revere means respect. Okay. Acknowledge, revere. Revere, okay. But uh, of or Malachi, fear, fear me reverence, read. Malachi 4 and 2 out of whole name Bible. Mm -hmm. But unto you that revere my name. Right, but the, but unto you that revere my name, Yahweh, read. Shall the son of righteousness. Now it said the son, what, S-U-N? S-U-N. So let's say son of righteousness, right? Yes. So S-U-N, see? S-U-N, right? Yes. Is a type of the S O N. This is the sun and righteousness. You see how I go? Yes. When you say sunrise? Yes. You listening? Yes. That's good. I want you, just want you to see that for yourself. It says that they may know from the from the rising of the sun, see? See? He's risen from the grave, right? Risen from the dead, right? Right. In, in a super corporeal form. The sun has risen. Right. Right? And the sun has risen in our hearts and minds today, right? Right. It said now, and from the rise of the sun and from the west, there is none beside me. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. There was none beside me, Yahweh say, right? Right. I am Yahweh and there is none else. You listening? Yes. I form the light, people. See? He said, I form the light and I create darkness, right? Right. I make peace, right? Mm -hmm. Now the scripture lesson said now, Which, which is true. See, Yashmah Sah, he is our peace. You listen? Right. right? right. He is our peace. He's our everything. You listen? Yes. See? See? He is our righteousness. He is our Sabbath. He is our shepherd. He is our banner. He is our provider. He is our healer. He is our righteousness once again. He is our host. You listening? He is our comforter. You listening? Yes. He is our peace. You listening? Yes. He is our protector. You listening? Yes. He is our great physician. You listening? Mm -hmm. He is our lawyer in the courtroom. You listening? Right. And whatever else you can think of, that's who he is. Because he just got to say, I'm Yahweh, right? right? And there is none else. You listening? Yes. I'm, I, listen, 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 watch this. I am your source. Not Walmart. You listening? Right. Not Costco. <laughs> you listening? Yes. Not this place that you're working to be a lawyer. Not this place where you're working, you know, you've got the, uh, 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 
you know, people will, will do taxes, uh -huh. whatever the employment is, right? right? No, I'm your source. You listening? Yes. And then he goes on to say in a chapter verse somewhere in the book, he says, I, Yahweh, am the one that give you power, right? Right. To get the wealth. You listening? Yes. Ain't that beautiful? That's beautiful. He's everything. And when he reveals to you that he is your source, from that day forward, you will not have no fear. You listening? Yes. All fear has been abolished. You listening? Yes. Because the chapter and verse somewhere in the book, it says, I, Yahweh, have not given you the spirit of fear, right? right. But I've given you the spirit of power. You listening? Yes. Love, right? right? And a sound mind. You got me? Yes. And that satanic spirit, using the media, has got these folks in fear mm -hmm. of the coronavirus. You listening? Yes. But we understand the truth of Yahweh. We understand that this physical creation is not our home. Yes. You listening? Yes. So bring it on. You listening? Yes. See that what you want, you don't want to, you, you don't want to have to try to, you don't want to have to face the second death. You listening? Yes. It ain't no hope for you. You listening? Yes. So you know, Yahweh shall form the light and create darkness. I'll make peace and create punishment. See? Mm -hmm. I Yahweh do all these things. You listening? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the way he wanted to go. <laughs> Yahweh running the show, right? He said, I do all these things. That's see? Right. If you've got anything out of these two testimonies, all praises and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh Elohim. In the name of the only God and Son, our saving King and brother, Yahshua the Messiah. All right? Um, how much time left on the clock there? Uh, we, we, we got an hour and 50 minutes, first bell. Huh? Continue? Yes, sir. Continue. All right, so the first speaker is <laughs> going to be Dr. Stefan yes, Graham. Absolutely. Continue on. Yes. Um, I mean, like I said, we it's going, to, it's going to get it now. I'm going to get the scripture lesson. Matthew 10, about start 10, at, at Matthew 10 at the top, at the top, uh, uh, the top of, of that column. Matthew 10, that right column at the top. Okay, yes, sir. Where are you at? As a matter of fact, go on down to the bottom, then go to the top. Matthew 10 and what? Matthew 10 and 9. Start there, please. Matthew 10 and 9 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. Well, hold on. I'd like to say, first of all, I'm thankful and grateful to be here. Yes, sir. Um, I'm thankful to Yahweh, um, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah, for bringing back to another class to learn more of him, how he truly is, how he actually exists, and learn how our salvation has already been accomplished, right? Yes. This is a school, and it is not a church. All right? Yes. Matthew 10 and what? 10 and 9 from the Holy Name Bible. Read. Provide neither gold nor silver. Okay, you might want to go on up. Go on one, one more verse up. Okay. Uh, okay, catch, 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 catch straight thought. Matthew 10 and 8 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. Heal the sick. Go up. Matthew 10 and 7 mm -hmm. uh, from the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. And as ye go, Preaching, repeat. Right now, that's what he's, he's saying now. We know the story. Yes. Because he said he gave them power, right? Yes. He gave them power, meaning the mean power, Holy Spirit has power. I mean yes. the Holy Spirit is power. You listening? Yes. See one of the one of the nine divine attributes. See? See how I go? Yes. It's power. You listening? Yes. And we got to read the transcript, I believe, this, or past transcript. In there it says, "Now we down to the, we down to the, we down to the, you know what I mean? We build a countdown, but we down to the things up, up out of here at any moment, right? Right. In the transcript, we just got the reading uh, uh, this past Friday. It's entitled Love and Lust, right? And right. the transcript it said, "Now we will not go past." A.D. 2000, and it won't be no overtime. Is that what you hear Yahweh said, yeah, right? Yeah. He can't lie, right? Right. You understand? Yeah. And he says, so in knowing that, 
when they call you by your earthly name and you get up there, you listen to what I'm talking about? You listening? Yes. We're going to read about that in a minute. Okay? Yes. Yahshua coming through the physical body. You listen? Yes. Our name is Yahshua. You listen? That's yes. our true name. That's our true identity. You listening? Yes. So when Yahshua, the Holy Spirit, speaks through, through one, which is you, your true self, he's going to come through. You listen? Yes. With, with preaching, preach, you know what I mean? Speaking with so much authority and so much power. Are you listening? Yes. Demonstrating that power and authority. Are you listening? Yes. Give it all you got. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. There ain't no time to be playing around. Okay? Yes. Read. So that's the point. So he says, so now he's sending them out to speak or to preach, right? Yes. Read. Of Matthew 10 and 7, I was wondering about. Mm -hmm. And as ye go. They said, now if you go out here preaching, teaching, which is what we understand, we know, we know the story. Go ahead and read. And as ye go preach, saying, Repent ye, repent, repent ye. Repent ye, repent ye. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You listening? Yes. Not, 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 not as Christians do believe that, that Jesus, as they call. You got me? Yes. I'm using pictorial illustration. They still believe that he's in his form. You know what I mean? Right. That he went up to, to the sky, as they call it heaven. Yes. Right? To set up a kingdom. Right. You got me? You got me? Yes. And you know what I'm saying? For all the years for the go there, right? <laughs> yes. Right? But what what the book say? As ye go preach, saying, Repent ye, repent ye. Repent ye, repent ye. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes. All right? So he's saying to them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See? And, uh, um, man, we should have to fall. I don't even know where it is. Continue to read. Uh, continue to read. Heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. Okay, so now he, he said now the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? Yes. So you must have a king. Right. Of a kingdom. Right. You listen? Mm-hmm. So the king of the kingdom was standing right there. You got me? Yeah. Oh, let's see the Matthew. Amen. Talk about uh, wow, I hate that. Talks about the kingdom, um, the kingdom um, was was out uh, without observation or something like that. Mm, I hate that. Just bear with us here for a few moments, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I can go right here. Okay. This is cool right here. Um, Matthew uh, 25 and 34. It says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, see, mm -hmm. Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the king prepared for you from the foundation of the world. You got me? Yes. Okay? You listening? Yes. You see how I go? Mm -hmm. So we should be spiritually and psychologically as of right yeah. now, see? In the kingdom, in the kingdom in us, and we in the king. You listening? Yahshua yes. Messiah is the king of the kingdom. You listening? Yes. Okay? Then shall the king say unto them on their right hand, right? Mm -hmm. Come ye, blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. You listening? Yes. It's already a done deal in reality. You got me. Right. Um, Is it on? Um, is, it, is it on? It's just about. Yes, sir. Get it, get it up. Get it up. Is it on? Yes, sir. Do your thing. I mean, come on now. I need two. Uh, do I read two? Um, I need the verse that says the kingdom is within you.
uh, is write this down, Luke 17, 21. And there's another one here. The kingdom comes without observation. Something like that. Oh, it might be the same one. What, what, what you wrote down? Uh, Luke 17 and 21. Okay, it's the same one. I'm sorry. It's, it's Luke, started Luke 17 and 20. And they go down to 21. Okay, yes. Read from the King James Bible. Okay. Okay? And put the correct names if need be. I don't know how it would actually be, but at least the King James Bible is, is a better, better version. Okay. And then going back to the scripture lesson. Okay. Come on now. Luke 17 and 20. Luke, 20. Seven, Luke 17 and 20 from and, the Holy Name Bible. King James Version, Luke, right? Excuse me, yes, of course. Uh, Luke 17, 20 from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. And when and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, uh -huh. when the kingdom of Yahweh shall come, right. he answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observ with observation. With, it, it cometh not with observation. Yes. Read. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or Lo, right, there. Right, Lo, he's over there, he's over there. That Christian dude say he, he, he's going to crack the sky, he's going to come on, 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 a, on a cloud, yes. a physical cloud, right? Right. Right? Right. But we understand, as it said in Leviticus 16 and 2, is that right? Yes. I, Yahweh, will, will appear, right? right? In the cloud. Right. Above the mercy seat. Isn't that beautiful? In the most holy place. Is that what he said? Yes. So we can understand that the cloud, see, see, correlates right with your head cavity, right? Tabernacle pattern, tabernacle of man, man by the pattern, right? Right. Correlates right with man's head cavity. You listening? Right. It's a white and gray like metal, like unto a cloud. Is that right? Right. You listening? Yes. This the cloud. They're going to appear in. You listening? Yes. In this super incorporeal form, use a tutorial illustration. You listening? Yes. All right? This the cloud ain't gonna come in. Come on. You got me? Right. Your cloud. Right. You got me? Not no physical body gonna be floating on some cloud. You, you know that's a lie. Right. <laughs> you got what I'm talking about? Yes. Talking about this one. You listening? In a divine vision. A kind of by the violation. You listening? Yes. You see how it go? Yes. Read on. Neither shall they say no here. Or lo there. Uh -huh. For behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. All right. Where you say it was at? Within Isn't you. Isn't that the beautiful thing? He said the kingdom of Yahweh is where? Within you. Within you. See? You got me? Yes. That's, that's why it's vitally important that we endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. Right? Yes. You listening? Yes. And why the tabernacle pattern is so important. Is that right? Yes. It's, it's, I'm just going to just, just quote it out. According to 1 John 5, verse 7, 8 from the King James Bible said, There is three that bear record in heaven. Is that mm -hmm. right? The Father, right. the Word, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit. Right? Yeah. These three are one. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Like unto the Ark of the Covenant and to Archangel, the Eye of Yahweh. Are you listening? Yes. Okay? In the most holy place. Then you come on down here to court round about. It said there is three that bear witness on the earth. Right? Right. The spirit, the water, and the blood, right? right? These three agree in one. Is that that right? Yes. So now, so the kingdom is within you. Is that right? Right. Right? You can't have a kingdom without a king. Is that right? Right. Now watch it now. Now in a man's physical body, he has he, he has air that he breathes, along with the spirit. Right. Spirit, air. You got me? Right. A spirit, truly, you have... Water in your body, is that right? right? You have blood in his body, is that right? right. That's that's a witness, is that right? That's right. You see how I go? Uh -huh. You listening? Yes. And over in John in John uh, uh, 17, you, you, you're going to stay right there, just follow me wherever I go. John 17, is that right? Uh -huh. in John 17, see? John 17, 
it says, um, yes, John 17 and verse 23 from the Holy Name Bible says, no, let me start back up. Let's start back up. John 17 and verse 21. Starting there from the Holy Name Bible, it said that it said that they all may be one. See? That they all may be one, right? right. Oh, oh, it says, Thou that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, right? Mm -hmm. And I in thee, mm -hmm. right? That they also may be one, see? <laughs> you got me? Yes. In us. It, you listen to it? Ain't mm -hmm. that something? Yes. Us mean a unity. You got me? Right. Yahweh has three states, two manifestations of himself, one spirit, right? Yes. You got me? Ain't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory that which thou hast given me, I have given unto them, see? You do that through illustration. Yes. That they may be one. You listening? Mm -hmm. As we are one. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. See? I am them, see? Mm hmm I in them, and thou with me, mm -hmm. that they may be perfect in unity. Ain't that something? Yes. Are you feeling that? Yes. See? You got me? Yes. The kingdom is within you. You listening? Yes. Ain't that beautiful? Yes. See? Your name is Yahshua. You got me? That's the real you. See? Kingdom of Yahshua. You see? Yes. Written in your heart and mind. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. The kingdom is within us, ladies and gentlemen. You got me? And we're in the kingdom. You listening? Yes. I'm talking about this right here. All right? Read on. Um... Yeah, are you, are you at Luke 20, 20 and 21? Yes, I'm on Luke right now. Luke uh, 17 and 22 right now. I don't want to go that far. Okay. It's 20 and 21. Yes, sir. Are you, are you finished? Yes, sir. Read 21 again. Uh, Luke 17 and 20 from the King James Version. 21, please. Excuse me. Luke 17 and 21 from the King James Version. Uh-huh. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there. Uh-huh. For behold... The kingdom of Yahweh is within you. He's using that pictorial illustration. It's within you. Okay? Yes. All right. Now, going back to Matthew 10. Matthew 10, from the Holy Name Bible, 10 and 7. Read. Uh, I don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Matthew 10 and 7. And as ye go, preach, saying, Repent ye, repent ye, uh -huh. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. Heal the sick, uh -huh. cleanse the lepers, mm -hmm. raise the dead, uh -huh. cast out demons. Yeah. Freely ye have received, freely give. All right. Freely you have received, freely you give. Read. Provide neither gold, nor silver, uh -huh. nor glass uh -huh. in your person. Right. No script. No script. See, when you call on the floor, have no script. See, it wasn't no script today. No, no script. Never no time. You got me? Have no script. You got me? Yes. Like Christian Doom does. You got me? Yes. Have no script. All right? Now, jump on down to verse um, 19. Matthew 10 and 19, Holy Name Bible. Matthew 10 and 19 from the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. But when they deliver you up. But when they call you up by your earthly name. <coughs> have no anxiety. Have no, anxi right, have no anxious thoughts or anxiety for what? But when they deliver you up, have no anxiety concerning how or what ye shall speak. That's right. Why is that? Read. For it shall be given you in that same hour uh -huh. what ye shall speak. Continue. For it is not ye that speak. Oh, it ain't you that who you thought when he called you by earthly name. You thought that was the real you. You got me? Yes. But come to find out the real you was Yahshua. 
You listen on Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. These three are one, right? Right. Unity, right? Right. Right? Right. That's the family name. Read. For it is not ye that speak. It ain't you that speak. But the spirit of your father. Wait a minute, but the spirit of your father. See, these three are one, but the spirit of your father. You know what I'm You know, like in type and shadow. Now, I'm a father. Right. Right? I'm a brother. Right. I'm a son. I'm a grandfather. You listen? Right. So forth and so on. Is that right? Yeah. I'm playing all these roles, right? <laughs> with, with a type. The shadow of a name, Stephan, right? Right. But my true name is Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. You got me? Yes. You listening? Yes. Right? Right. Yahweh playing on a role. See how it go? Yes. You listening? Yes. That's what he said, right? Mm -hmm. I am Yahweh and there is nothing else. That's what he said, right? Right. I'm conscious of it and you're not. But when you become conscious, right? right? You know who you are. You listen because he said, I am Yahweh and there is none else. You got me? Yes. That's who you are. You listening? Yes. Right? Right. Is that what you is that what we read in a couple places? Yes. See? We was raised and thought by the satanic force and Yahweh put it in a condition, you got me, to bring us back to consciousness, awareness, right? Right. You got me? Because some identity theft had took place. You listening? Right. But now we know our true identity once again. You listening? Yes. Right? See? Ain't that wonderful? Yes. That's what he said. He said, I'm Yahweh and there is none else. What do you get from that? See? That's what you just read. He said, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be who? For it is not he that speaks, okay. but the spirit of your father but, which speaketh in you. But the spirit of your father which speaketh in you or speaketh through you, right? right? The kingdom is come. You listen. Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. He's the king, right? Right. In your dome. You right. got me? Right. The king dome. That's, he's the king of the dome, people. <laughs> you got me? Yes. Not only the king of the dome, this is his body. You listen. Right, right. You got me? Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. He didn't say, I'm Yahweh, if there's nothing yes. else, right? That's right. Then he go on and say, this is my body, mm -hmm. right? You got to read it now. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. First, excuse me. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, out of the Holy Name Bible. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? You have the pictorial illustration now, people. What? Don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit or the temple of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua? Right? Right. Because over in John 19, starting on the 30th verse, okay, I'm just saying John 19, start around 30. Um, let me read it real quick. I want to mess this. I mean, for those that are reading, we we'll always uh, admonish you and, and encourage you to read the whole chapters, wherever we call out, right? Because that's what we do, right? right. For our home, we, we go back and read the whole chapters, okay? So John 19, um, I like it better out of King James, but I just, uh, I'll read out the holy name, but I'll, I'll just make it, make, you, you'll see. This is John 19, okay? John 19, uh, bear with me, read on just for a moment here. Yes, John 19 and 30, okay? okay. For the Holy Name Bible it says, when Yahshua therefore have received the vinegar, you got me? Mm -hmm. So this, this, is, this is fulfilling. See, I, oh, I came to fulfill. Right? The vinegar is likened to the bitter herbs. You understand? Mm -hmm. Which was on the menu back here according to Exodus 12, right? right. For the Passover feast, it was it was roasted lamb, right? Mm -hmm. Bitter herbs, right? right? And unleavened bread, see? You got me? Yeah. He is the bread from heaven. He is the true lamb. You got me? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So forth and so on, right? It said, when Yahshua therefore have received the vinegar, see? Mm -hmm. He said, it is finished. Ended. Finish what? Finish fulfilling. Yes. 
Well, it was written to me in the law of the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. See? And he bowed his head and expired, or in King James Bible said, bowed his head and gave up the ghost, right? Mm -hmm. Gave up the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 33 says, so that spirit like unto Yahweh, right? Right. He said, but when, verse 33 says, but when they came to Yahshua and saw that he was dead, see, I just go right here. When they came to Yahshua, get all the way in there, see. When they came to Yahshua, see, and saw that he was dead, mm -hmm. see. But when they came to Yahshua and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs, see. Uh, he's fulfilling that he couldn't break it because it's already, it's already established over there in, 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 in Exodus 12, right? Mm -hmm. All of that. And it says, but one of the soldiers with a spear, see that? Mm -hmm. See so the spear there? See it? Yes. Pierced him in the side. And forth came out blood. See? Forth came out blood. Right? Mm -hmm. We have blood here on the four, four horns of the altar. Right? And water, right? In the brazen labor, right? right. You already gave with the spirit. You got to what I'm talking about? Yes. See how I go? Mm -hmm. Blood, water, spirit. See? Pour it, on, pour it out on this side. You got me? Yes. You got me? Right back into the hearts and minds of men. Ain't that something? Yes. The kingdom is come. You listen. Mm -hmm. In you. See? That's who you really are. You got me? Yes. Okay? All right? Mm -hmm. You have anything holding? Is there anything holding? Um. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. I was reading uh, a second of uh, First Corinthians six and nineteen. Yes. Now hold it right there, because I want you to get, get another one. Write down. Um. Um. Let me see here. Um, yeah. Just bear with this viewed audience just for a moment here. Uh, let's another one here. Yes, yeah, 2 Corinthians, um, And verse 16, Holy Name Bible. <laughs> yes, yeah, 2 Corinthians 6, chapter, verse 16, Holy Name Bible. All right? And I also want you to get um, um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Um, Ezekiel 36, I believe it is. Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel 36, verse 26 and 27, okay, and um, let me see here, it's, um, Exodus, um, just bear up just a few moments here, my ladies and gentlemen. Exodus, um,
Yeah, get um, Exodus 32 and 15. No, that's not the one. I'm sorry, that's not the one. I'm sorry. Yeah, Exodus 34. And um, and four, okay. I want you to start there first, okay. okay? And then come on over, because in um, in Exodus thirty-two, we understand that um, we understand that um, this is Moses' uh, second trip, I believe. Yeah, Exodus thirty-two. Follow me. Come on now. But we, for the sake of, for the sake of time, we don't have much time left. Everyone, everyone most most ones that, that know that Moses was born down here under the death decree, right? Right. Right. According to Exodus one, Exodus two, pick him up. He was born down here in the land of Egypt, so forth and so on. He came into his. He, he became forty years old. He came into his heart to bring, to visit his Hebrew brethren, right? Yeah. So he's. It's 40 years old, 40 means about to be a change, or a change will take place, right? right. So we understand that um, Moses was raised down here in, in, in Pharaoh's household, okay? Yeah. But the point I'm making, so 40 years old, come to his heart to, to visit his Hebrew brethren, so he's, he, so he's, you know, down here, so he's journeying, he sees a Hebrew fighting the Egyptian, he slew the Egyptian, Buried him in the sand, right? Right. Right. So that's a death burial. Moses resurrected, resurrected up out of Egypt. You know what I mean? Back here, the ten, uh, tending the sheep out here, so forth and so on. We come to Exodus three. Yahweh gave him divine vision, divine revelation here at the burning bush, right? Right. right? And told Moses to come down, come, come back down here. I'm down here. I'm here at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I've seen the affliction of my people Israel with my son, right? right. I've heard their cry. I put them in. I put them in bondage. Now I'm going to, you know, what I mean, deliver them out of here. But before you, before, but when you come down here, you got to give them a name, right? Because they didn't. No one knew Yahweh's name until he revealed it to the man Moses for the very first time of mankind, right? right. So they call him my El Shaddai, El El Yon, that nature by not by a title, not his name, right? right? So they already had all these gestures down here, many gods, they all had names, right? What should I, now what name should I tell them when I come back down here, right? We understand right. he said, first he said, Ayash, Aya, meaning I will be what I will to be, right? right. Meaning I'm Yahweh and there's none else, right? Right. right? right. So then, that, then more we said now, I want to give my name, my name was Yahweh, right? The Elohim, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? right. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations, right? Yes. So then we're gonna fast forward. So now, so so now 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 they can come up out of here. They gotta have a Passover feast in Exodus 12, right? Right. Got to go over that. Slaughter the lamb, roast mm -hmm. the lamb, mm -hmm. right? Put the blood on the on the on the on the uh, upper door post, two, two side posts, dip in the basin, right? right? Drain the blood off this lamb, right? Really. It's gonna stay at the four point, really five, but it's, it's four. Stay in there, right? So the Passover feast was roast the lamb, bitter herbs, and eleven bread. Is that right? Okay. And now they can come up out. You got the name. You got me. You got the substance in them. You got me. Mm -hmm. Death, burial, resurrection. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? They come up out of here now, right? So now we're gonna fast forward to Exodus 19. Okay? okay. When they come around here to the foot of Mount Sinai, is that right? Mm -hmm. um, on June, yeah. Right, June 3rd, he was called, uh, Yahweh called Moses up, okay? Mm -hmm. First trip to the mount, right? And uh, and told, told, told him, told children to when he come back down, right? right. To um, clean up. Because mm -hmm. in three days, in June 6th at 9 a.m., I'm going to speak down my covenant or my marriage vows to y'all. Is that right? right. So I go. Mm -hmm. So that happened. So now we're gonna fast forward. Moses, Moses, Moses come up here in Exodus 32. Is that right? Mm -hmm. 
Now he's up here 40 days and 40 nights. Okay? So now when he's coming down, Yahweh had brought these table of stones up there. Yahweh wrote on the table of the stone. You see how he got the table of stone in his hand. Right. But he's coming down here and he see that the children of Israel, you know, say, hey, man, what's, 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 what's become of Moses? He's gone too long, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to make ourselves a deity. Is that right? right. So I go make, mm -hmm. make ourselves a beast. Mm -hmm. You got me? You got me? Because he got down, he got that from down here. But he beast down here, you got mm -hmm. beast man of sin down here, right? Yes. So he gonna make himself a beast, right? Mm -hmm. You got me? So he waxed cold. I mean, I mean, you, he waxed hot. Right. You got me? Broke the tables. Now you gotta come back up. So at the same time, simultaneously, while this while this tabernacle was in the was in the building, mm -hmm. you got me. It mm -hmm. take nine months. You mm -hmm. got me? Mm -hmm. Nine months or forty weeks, right? Right. Just like a natural. Uh, 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 I would say a natural childbirth or 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 a um let me see. Uh what's the word I want to Physical? Huh? Physical? No, no, just a, a normal childbirth or yeah. a, um well not no complications. Okay. Nine months, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So the ark the, the uh tabernacle wasn't finished, so the brick broke the first tail of the stone, right? Mm -hmm. So now Yahweh wants to come back up in Exodus thirty Four, four yes, yes. right? With a, with, 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 with a new table of stone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? I'll read that. Exodus 34 and um, verse 1 it's in Yahweh, and for the Holy Name Bible, Exodus 34 and 1, Holy Name Bible, it's in Yahweh said to Moses, Here the two tables of stone like unto the first, right? Right. Okay? And I will write upon these tables of stone, right? Mm -hmm. The word that which were in the first table which thou break it, and be ready in the morning and come up in the morning unto the Mount Sinai and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount, right? Mm -hmm. And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, let, let, uh, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before the mount. And he hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and Moses rolled up early in the morning and went up into Mount Sinai, and Yahweh had commanded him and took. In his hand, two tables of stone, and Yahweh descended in a cloud. See, he descended in a cloud, right? And stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahweh. And Yahweh passed by before him and proclaimed Yahweh, Yahweh, El, merciful and gracious, long suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth, right? Okay? So now, go to Exodus 40. See how it goes, Exodus 40. Like 40 weeks for a child, mm -hmm. for a develop, normal, normal, normal child, you know, right. normal pregnancy, you know, no complication, right? And at the same time, now the tabernacle is, is, is being completed, right? right? So in Exodus 40, um, in Exodus 40, um, Exodus 40 chapter, let me see here, um, Let me see. Try to see where you put the um. Just bear with us a moment. Okay, yeah, Exodus 40 and 20, it says, and he took and he, and he, and he, and he took and put the testimony in the ark, right? Right. The testimony will put the tables, right? Mm -hmm. In the ark, right? Right. And set the staffs on the ark and put the mercy seat above above upon the ark, right? Mm -hmm. See? And you go over here and get a better pictorial illustration. You see how I go? You see the table of stone in there? Yes. You see how I go? That's a testimony of the sense, right? You see how it is? Okay. The same thing is here. It's here. You see how I go? Alright? Yes. Now truly on this side the law of the spirit, the spirit of life, right? Right. And we had in the last class, the same heart here, the same hearts here, right? Right. Spirit of law, the law of the spirit of Yahweh Elah himself is the one that brought the creation in. You got me? Yeah. It says spirit law. Spirit law. Spirit law. Now you start to see the dove. See? You got me? Mm -hmm. He's all of that, right? See? And this is what this is what this is what is in us. See how I go? Mm -hmm. right? right? So the head got to be formed first, right? Right. You got me? So that, that completed it, 
You got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now was now was now was now was now was completed. Now then we go on down to um um it says and it, now he says in verse 33 says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate so Moses finished the work right mm -hmm. right then a then a cloud right yes See, which is Yahweh himself covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle. See how I go? Mm -hmm. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud of all thereon and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. See how I go? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys, right? Mm -hmm. That same cloud here, that same cloud here that led them, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see that you see that cloud there on that tent there? You got me? Oh, you got me? Yes. You got the cloud here? See how it go? Yes. You got me? It's symbolic. You got me? Maybe he's in your cloud, right? Yes. You see how it go? So it says, And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journey, but if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that they were taken up. For the cloud of Yahweh was upon a tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of the house of Israel throughout all their journey. Say I go. You got me? So we have here Yahweh is spirit, manifest within the cloud, symbolizes eternity, right? He rules from above, right? 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 Say I go. He's a type. See cloud there, cloud here. You got me? Cloud here. You listening? You understand what I'm talking about? I will appear in the mercy seat, right? In the cloud of the mercy seat, right? Mm -hmm. Leviticus 16 and 2, right? Mm -hmm. See? You know what I'm saying? He said, that in the smoke when the spirit of Yahweh filled the tabernacle, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, complete it, right? Mm -hmm. Now go on and get um, Ezekiel 36. Did I give you chapter and verses for that? Yes, sir. Uh, Ezekiel 36. Um, 26 and 27. Go ahead and read, please. Ezekiel 36, 26 and 27. I don't know who your name by. Uh huh. A new heart also will I give you. Right. And a new spirit will I put within you. All right. And I will take away the stony heart. Now, can you, do you have it here? Let's get this out here. What did you have before? Uh, um, the whole thing. Huh? The whole, the whole thing. Yeah, it's good. Just have one. Yeah, want to see both things. Okay. Come on, got it? Start back over. Exodus 36, I mean, Ezekiel 36 and what? Uh, 36 and 27, I will name by the Uh-huh. A new heart also will I give you. Yeah. And a new spirit will I put within you. Right. And I will take away the stony heart. I will take away the stony heart, read. Out of your flesh. Uh-huh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Right. And I will put my spirit within you. All right. And cause you to walk in my statue. Right. Read. And ye shall keep my judgments. Uh huh. And do them. All right. Thank you, reader. Okay, go on and get um. Uh, Second uh, Corinthians. Second. Go on and get Second Corinthians. Uh, um, two and sixteen. Two and sixteen. And then. Um. Finish with 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 19 and 20. Okay? 6, 19 and 20. Go ahead and read, please. Okay. Um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 16. Out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. To the one, to the one we are the Savior of death. No, you're reading something. Two. No, come on now. 2 Corinthians 6, 16. 2 Corinthians 6, 16, please. 6, 16. Excuse me. Read on. And what agreement has... 2 Corinthians 6, 16, repeat it. 2 Corinthians 6, 16, out of the Holy Name Bible. Read on. And what agreement have the temple of Yahweh with idols? All right, so what agreement, so what agreement does the temple of Yahweh... Passed with idols. Read. 
And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living Elohim. Uh, we, we are the temple of the, of the dead Elohim. No. They ain't what it say, right? They ain't what it say, does it? No. It say we are the temple of the what? Read, please. And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living Elohim. Of the living Elohim. Read. As Yahweh have said. I will dwell in them. I will dwell in them. And walk in them. And walk in them. And I will be their Elohim. Read. And they shall be my people. All right. That's good. So in right here, 1 Corinthians 6, 19, star. Holy name Bible. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Of the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. What? Know ye that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Right. You mean to tell me you didn't know this? You know now, don't you? Yes. You understand the, 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 the name of the Holy Spirit, right? Yes. Read, pay attention. The name of the Holy Spirit, and come back. The name of the Holy Spirit is Yahshua. Is that correct? Yes. So it says, what? You mean to tell me you didn't know this? What you know now? Don't you know that your body is the temple of Yahshua? You got me? Yes. See, these three are one. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. There's no separation. You listening? Yes. Don't you don't you know your body is the temple of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua? You can say that, right? Right. You won't be in error, okay? What? Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Read or Yahweh Yah Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. Back here, please. Okay. What? No, ye not. That your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of Yahweh, right. and ye are not your own, See? for ye are bought with a price. Right. Therefore glorify Yahweh in your body right. and in your spirit. What you thought was your body, you thought was your spirit. Now what did he say about it? Which are his. All right, so we got through reading in Isaiah 46 and 45, right? Right. If you got to read in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, the last verse, I mean 6, 19 and 20, he said that this is his body and his spirit, right? Right. We got to read in Isaiah 45, chapter and 46, chapter, it says, I am Yahweh, right? And there is none else. Right. So that's who you are. You are Yahweh and there is none else. If you got anything out of this class lecture, all praise and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh Elohim. In the name of the only begotten Son, Yahshua Messiah, Savior, King, and Brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are there any questions or comments? Oh, praise God, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. I like to say we hold classes here in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha class meetings on Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And if you like to attend a class here, in Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha class meetings, you can contact us by email. By leaving us a detailed email. Our email address is yashua47 at gmail.com. Once again, Yahshua is spelled Y-A-H-S-H-U-A 47 at gmail.com. Also, you can contact us by voicemail for dialing for Dr. Stefan Williams, area code 402. 973-8987 or for Dr. Rapunzel Williams, area code 402-609-6588. Leave us a detailed email or voicemail concerning the day and time that you'd like to come and study with us. And like I've said several times, we will make arrangements around your time. Okay? Our door is always open. Yes. All praise be to Yashim Sai for that. Yeah. And also, we upload our class videos after every class. You can find our class video. You go to YouTube, search, and put an IDMR Omaha or Omaha class meetings. And that's Yashim Sai to lead, direct, and guide you to the class video that already have prepared for you to watch before the foundation of the world. 
And last but not least, let us all stand for the doxology. Our doxology can be found in the King James Version of one Bible under the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-E, verse 24 and verse 25, also in the also in the Holy Name Bible, excuse me, also in the Holy Name Bible under the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H, same verses, verse 24 and verse 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you fallen for the present of a glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Elohim our Savior through Yahshua Messiah our Sovereign belonging glory and majesty, dominion and power both before all time, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.